I'm in a new location. This is my mom's room. Well, flat, whatever you want to call it. How did a fur, I don't know. Awesome lighting. But we're here, we're about to start doing arts and craftsy things for my brother's wedding. But look at what my mom did, she made us. Okay, sorry, I accidentally pushed the Wi-Fi button on the side. But look, she made us snacks, this cauliflower and a potato and some sausage and some squash and some more cauliflower because that's all I can eat. <laughs> Um, but her place is really cute. We're doing bottles, wine bottles, for the centerpieces. I think I already told you guys about that. But blush, and we got blue. Blue, blush, and silver are the colors. I don't know. The silver might be in the tarp. That looks like the zombie apocalypse is happening. But, oh, okay, I just, oh, the silver's down there. Because I um, didn't see that. Okay, but we're decorating. It'll be fun. But I want to say good morning to you guys. Um, her and my sister-in-law are currently upstairs looking at stuff. So let's do our daily affirmation. Because I have to do two today because I forgot yesterday. I feel bad for it. So I challenge. I work hard. I pers persevere. Perceive. Huh? I do persevere. And I do challenge. And I do work hard. I was at the gym for an hour today. Well... An hour and a half, but I actually did an hour workout. It's pretty legit. I know I am wearing a shirt. Sorry, it doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. I think we're gonna start decorating, and I will show you guys progress. Maybe if they want to be in the vlog or not. So after hours and hours and hours, we have beautiful bottles. There's some. There's some more. This one's my favorite. And probably one I will be taking home after the wedding. Pretty, right? Also this one. I think I'm going to take this one after the wedding too because I did it and it's really pretty and I like it a lot. As long as that paper doesn't fuck up my paint right there. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, that's right, okay. So yeah, it's only been five, four hours, five hours. But we got a lot done. Oh, I was definitely, was I on the microphone that whole time? If so, sorry, but. <laughs> it was five hours. And the snacks are almost gone. I can't have the potatoes. I really want the potatoes, but I can't have the potatoes, so I'm not gonna have the potatoes, but I'm gonna have everything else. So, that was most of my day, going out tonight. Real productive Saturday. Hello. So on today's episode of Get Ready With Me, we'll be talking about infamous serial killer Ted Bundy, because I finished the series on him, and it's all just crazy. And I need a hair thing. I don't have a hair thing in here. Okay, full hair up it is. Anyway, dude was fucking nuts. Obviously, he was a serial killer. They're usually not of sound mind. But this guy I don't even know where to start with it. Like obviously he's fucking crazy. He escaped from jail twice also, which is bonkers that like nobody knows about. Well now they do because I don't know, I didn't know anybody that knew that before this docu-series thing came out on Netflix. But yeah, dude escaped from jail twice. The first time he escaped from jail, he literally just jumped out of a window because nobody was paying attention to him. 
and he was gone for like a week or something um up in Aspen but then it got too cold in the mountains and he came back and they caught him essentially by accident both times he escaped because they were just like routine traffic stops and stuff and then the guy would be like oh shit that's Ted Bundy <laughs> which is crazy to me that He only got caught those two times by pure luck. I mean, he would have got caught eventually anyway, but who knows when that would have happened, you know? Fair enough. I don't know if that's enough. My mind is very scattered right now. My lukewarm coffee is not kicking in quickly enough for my liking. So dude escapes from jail twice, right? Then gets on death row, and then finally admits to killing like dozens of people. Right. And then he felt so bad for it. Felt so bad for it, he didn't actually feel bad for it. He said he didn't feel guilty at all about it, actually. But to atone in a way, I guess he helped police officers catch other serial killers. This is really nice of him. Really weird. Really nice of him in like the worst kind of like, okay, but you killed so many people way, you know, like doesn't exactly make up for the fact that he killed so many people. But also, what I thought was really interesting about the docu-series is it showed how many people were there the day he was executed and they made it like a giant party. Which I understand to a point, like yes, he was a terrible human being and he deserved to die. But... I still don't know if I would like go out to the jail and party, you know, when someone's being executed. It just seems like a little weird to me that people did that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I would go out and party, to be completely honest. <laughs> I mean, go out and party, sure, I'm gonna go out and party right now because I got a new job, but I would not go out and party because somebody's being put to death. But, I don't know, it was a different time. He was like the first of his kind, I guess. He was like the first huge serial killer. He wasn't the first serial killer. That was H.H. H. Holmes. But, I don't know, I still feel like people going out and like, I don't know, like sitting at the jail, like partying, people made t-shirts, like it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. It's very sadistic of society. And I understand they were just excited that this awful human being was being put to death, but I don't know. I feel weird about that. Also, my eye really fucking itches. I don't know. I would not personally show up at the jail place ready to party as somebody who's being put to death, even if they are like a super awful person, like go party somewhere else or something. Don't, you know, don't, don't, it, I don't know, I don't know, that didn't sit well with me, that was just weird. I'm not a fan of people that did that because it just kind of, 
I don't know, it speaks to their character too, that people partied so much and loved so much the fact that he was literally sitting in an electric chair and burnt to death. But, you know, he sure as shit earned it. <sighs> My brain is not working right now. I was gonna talk to you guys about Ted Bundy this whole time, but I kind of just want to watch Avatar The Last Airbender because that's what I was doing before I started getting ready. And that's kind of just all I really want to do right now. I don't really have words to say right now. I'm sure I'll have words to say once I get home tonight. So I think I'll see you guys for that. Um, but for the time being, I don't really... I don't know, my brain and my mouth are just not cooperating because no words are really coming to mind. So, there's a half get ready with me. I, I'm half ready, so you guys were half here for the process. Thanks for half helping me. Hi, can we have a talk for a second? <sighs> for any males out there, um, just so you know, it's not okay to rate women as they walk by outside of the club. And then when that woman turns around and tells you to go fuck yourself, it's not okay to change the rating. You know, I'm not an overly angry person except for when I'm downtown and except for when Yoda please stop licking your paw thank you cuz you know what you know a lot of people say shit like oh guys are staring at you that's a compliment no honey it's not if somebody glances at you, somebody notices your outfit, perhaps, sure, that's a compliment. When somebody looks you up and down and then rates you out loud, that's not fucking okay, yeah. And this is why I end up yelling at so many people downtown and getting into fights. Cause I'm fucking sick of it. I am so fucking sick of fucking children and boys. Cause they're not men. <laughs> no, no, no. They're fucking boys, children looking at me and my friends downtown and thinking they can raid us or catcall us. So yeah, you know what? I do take pleasure in the fact that when I turn around and start charging back at them to fuck them up, they get a little scared. Cause you know what? Maybe, maybe if more women did that, they'd fucking stop. Maybe not. I don't know. That's not something that happens. Because you know what? We sit there and we walk by and we fucking take it. But I'm so fucking sick and tired of not being able to walk anywhere without being catcalled or raided out loud. Oh, you're a seven and a half. So I turn around and I told the guy, go fuck yourself. Oh, change that to an eight. It's disgusting. And honestly, it's one of the reasons why I don't have a gun. And I'm not saying I would go around shooting people. But. 
but I don't want that responsibility, especially after drinking, because I'm fucking sick of it. And I have been for years, and I'm only 23. Fucking stop. You have brothers, you have sons, you have friends. If they're talking to women this way, tell them to knock it the fuck off because we are fucking sick of it. I am so fucking sick of it. So knock it the fuck off.